In this video for Math 94, we'll be covering topics in homework number one, which covers section 4.4 and 4.5. These problems are like number 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 on the homework, and the subject is trigonometry. In the first part of this homework assignment, talk about the idea of similar triangles. Now let's take a look at this triangle ABC and this triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime. They both have a right angle, and I've indicated that these angles are the same, namely that they're 32 degrees. So these two right triangles are similar. Now, in two right triangles, if you have the same angle, since the other angle is 90 degrees, you know that these two right triangles are similar. And the ratio, therefore, of the corresponding sides, opposite over opposite, hypotenuse over hypotenuse, adjacent over adjacent, is always the same. If these two triangles are 32 and 90 degrees, that's always going to be the same. So in mathematics, we define what are called the trigonometric ratios. The first one is called sine, and we denote that with sin parentheses A parentheses. This here is an angle, the sine of an angle, and that equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Now, what do I mean by opposite and hypotenuse? Suppose you're standing here at angle 32 degrees. The opposite side is clearly this one. This side is next to it, and that's called the adjacent side. The hypotenuse is the name for the side that is always opposite the 90 degree angle. So that's what we mean by sine. Sine of an angle is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine is another one of our trigonometric ratios, and the cosine of an angle is the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And tangent of an angle is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Now, it's a little hard to remember our trigonometric ratios, and you are going to have to remember them. So, we have this acronym, SOCATOA. And the way that goes is sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. On the quiz and test, you will have to know these. Now remember, sine, cosine, and tangent always refer to an angle. That helps you determine what is opposite, what is adjacent, and what is the hypotenuse. A couple of other useful facts we know is that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Since we are dealing with right triangles, the sum of the two non-right angles in a right triangle is 90 degrees. So angle A and angle B prime have to add up to 90 degrees. That tells you that if this is 32 degrees, this angle here has to be 90 minus 32 degrees, which is going to be 58 degrees. That's going to be useful in a minute. So let's take a look at some problems from WebAssign that deal with trigonometric ratios. So here's one right here. We have a right triangle, and I have angles A and angle C, and I want to know the sine of A. Well, remember, sine, cosine, and tangent always refer to an angle. And imagine you are right here at angle A. At angle A, this side is the opposite. This side is the hypotenuse. Why is that? Because it is opposite the 90 degree angle. And this side is adjacent. Now what is sine? Sine, remember, is opposite over hypotenuse. That comes from Sokatoa. That's the first part of that. So the sine of A is the opposite over the hypotenuse. What is the length of the opposite side? It is 20. What is the length of the hypotenuse? 29. Done. That is the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse in this triangle. Now, just for fun, 
I want you to take a look at angle C. Imagine you're at angle C. At angle C, this is not the adjacent side, but in reference to angle C, this side is the opposite side. And this side, in reference to angle 3, is not the opposite side, but is the adjacent side. Now, just for fun, let's suppose we want to find the tangent of C. Well, the tangent, if you remember, soka towa, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And since I'm referring to angle C, the opposite side is 21, and the adjacent side is 20. Take a moment and see if you can figure out this problem. Here's a triangle. We're looking at angle C, and I would like to find the cosine. Restart the video when you are finished. Okay, cosine, remember, is adjacent over hypotenuse. And again, that comes from so ka toa. This is ka right here. And so I have this angle. This is my opposite side. This is my adjacent side. And this, since it's opposite the 90 degree angle, is my hypotenuse. <coughs> Excuse me. So my adjacent side is 12. My hypotenuse is 37. I'm done. OK, that is lots of fun to try to figure out sine, cosine, and tangent of a triangle. But you know, it's not particularly useful. In most practical problems, we're given an angle and a side. And we need to use these trigonometric ratios to help us find the other sides. The process of finding all the sides and all the angles in a triangle is called solving a triangle. That means here we're given that the hypotenuse is 11, and that this one angle is 22, and this is the 90 degree angle. So I need to find angle C, side AB, and side CB. Well, angle C, we're going to use the fact that Angle A and angle C must add up to 90 degrees. So what would that be? This has to be 90 minus 22, and that's going to be 68 degrees. So angle C is 68 degrees. What about AB? Choose an angle to work with, whether that be the angle A at 22 degrees or angle C at 68 degrees. I'm going to choose angle A. So in reference to angle A, this is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. And this is the hypotenuse. All right, well, so I would like to find CB. Now you'll notice CB is the opposite side to angle 22. but. What angle are we given? What side are we given? We're given the hypotenuse. So looking at that, I want the opposite side. I'm given the hypotenuse. So I'm going to look at SOCA-TOA to help me decide which trig function to use. Sine is opposite and hypotenuse. I want the opposite side. I'm given the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use sine. Sine of 22 is opposite, which is CB, or BC, if we want to call it that, over the hypotenuse, which is 11. Now, I'm going to multiply both sides by 11. And that gives me this. Now, that answer is correct, but isn't particularly useful. We need our calculator. The first thing I'd like you to check on your calculator is to hit the mode key. If you hit this mode key, the first thing you should see is that this is indicated to be degrees, not radians. Radians are a more advanced topic that you'll study in trigonometry. If you don't have your calculator on degrees, use your arrow keys to go down to degrees and then hit enter. Now, then hit second mode to quit. Now, sine is pretty easy. It's right here on the calculator. Sine, 
22 parentheses times 11. So there's my answer, 4 point, and it's said round to three decimal places, 1, 2, 0, but that 0 is going to go up to a 1 because my 6 is in my fourth decimal place. So that would be BC right there. So this is 4.121 for BC. Now, so this one's BC. Now, what about AB? Well, AB is the adjacent side. And again, I have my choice of which angle to use, but I'm going to stick with my angle of 22 degrees. And with my angle of 22 degrees, this is the adjacent side, and this is the hypotenuse. And looking at Sokotoa, if I want adjacent hypotenuse, I'm going to use cosine. So cosine of 22 equals the adjacent side, AB or BA, over 11. So this is 11 times cosine of 22 equals BA. And let's take a look at that on your calculator. If you do that on your calculator, you get 10.199 for BA. So those are your sides. Now, let's do a slightly different problem this time. I'm going to come up with another triangle. And I'm going to call this A, B, C. And this time, I'm going to say this angle is, oh, let's say 52 degrees. And let's say I just give you this side being 10. So I would like to solve this triangle. So what do we know here? We know angle C. Angle C is going to be 90 minus 52. Well, that's going to be what? 38 degrees, right? And I'm going to use this to help me find this side, AC, which I'm going to call X. Now, again, if this is my angle I'm referring to, this is the opposite side. This is the hypotenuse because it's opposite my 90 degree angle, and this is my adjacent side. So this would be sine, again, Sokotoa. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so sine of 52 equals 10 over x. Now look at this ratio. This is a little different than last time. Last time, we had a number in the denominator. Now I have a variable in the denominator. I certainly want to get that out of there. So I'll multiply both sides by x. And now I have 10 divided by sine of 52. Now, using my calculator to do that, bring that over here, I have 10 divided by sine 52, and that gives me x is 12.69, and we'll just leave it at that right there for x. Now, let's call this side y. I'd like you to try and find that. Okay, the way I did this is I, again, used the angle 52 degrees, and I had 10 and y. So I have tangent of 52 equals 10 over y. I used tangent because I had opposite and adjacent. You don't have to use tangent. You could use something else. But I decided since 10 was given to me and I want my adjacent side, I was going to use tangent for opposite and adjacent. Multiply both sides by y. These disappear. Y equals 10 over tan of 52 degrees. And that gives me 7.813. So that is the process of solving a triangle. And again, you may think, hey, solving a triangle is great, but you know, how does this apply to anything I'm interested in? Let's take a look at an ab application problem here. To measure the height of a flagpole, Jan walks 15 feet from its base and measures the angle from ground level to the top of the flagpole. This angle measures 38 degrees. How tall is the flagpole? So here's my flagpole.
and this was 38 degrees and this was 15 feet here okay so she walks away from the flagpole 15 feet measures the top sees that angle is 38 degrees we want the height of the flagpole which i'll call h now what trig function am i going to use again for 38 degrees this is the opposite side this is the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse I'm given the adjacent side, I want the opposite side. I'll look at my acronym, SOCATOA, to help me decide which one do I want. I want opposite and adjacent, so I want tangent. Tangent of 38 equals h over 15, or 15 tan 38 equals h. So we'll try that on our calculator, 15 tan 38. And I get 11.719. Now, be careful. It says round your answer to the nearest foot. What's the nearest foot here? Since this is above 5, 5 or above, I would say 12 feet is the height of my flagpole. I hope you have found this video useful.